Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And according to a report from Jordan Schultz, an NFL insider, Mike Evans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are far apart on contract negotiations, a contract extension ahead of NFL free agency. Now, this is an article written on Bleacher Report by Joseph Zucker. And in this article, it talks about a few things. It talks about General Lane of ESPN reporting in September that Evans and the Bucks weren't able to get things done. They had a soft deadline for Monday to strike a bargain with Evans, but both sides remain far apart. Jordan Schultz also said Mike Evans is trending towards becoming a free agent. And y- you take a look at... This article, it says, based on how negotiations have unfolded this far, they appear content to lose the best wide receiver in franchise history. I don't necessarily agree with that, and I still believe that Mike Evans will be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Why do I say that? Well, because I know a lot of people are going to see a report like this and assume that, well, this obviously means that... Mike Evans doesn't want to be in Tampa Bay. He's going to hit the open market and then the Bucs are going to lose him. And I know that that's going to be the conversation that a lot of national media people are going to say might even be a conversation that a lot of local people are going to say media wise, non media wise, whatever it may be. I still believe that Mike Evans will be back in Tampa Bay whenever the season ended. You heard a quote from Baker Mayfield saying, if, if I'm coming back, I want to see Mike Evans back. You heard Mike Evans say he would like to be back. You even have a, an article written here on January 20th where it says, Bucks GM, Mike Evans signing new contract retiring with Tampa Bay would mean everything. You then take a look at the full quote here. It would mean everything for the franchise ownership, all of us. Mike and I, our relationship is still the same and has never changed. And we've got a mutual understanding of when we're going to begin talking. So these... These are not things that are said lightly, in my opinion. So I do see this report, and I'm not disagreeing with Jordan Schultz. I mean, they may be far apart on contract negotiations right now. There's also the report that the Bucs weren't expected to use the franchise tag on Mike Evans moving forward. But And I know this may worry some people, scare some people, right? Because Mike Evans, obviously a fan favorite, a guy who has meant a lot to the franchise throughout basically the entire mid 2010s to now I still believe that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers want to get a deal done I still believe that Jason Light wants to get a deal done he literally had this quote to Jenna Lane you know uh, less than a month ago basically a month ago as of the recording of this video on February 20th you know that it would mean everything for him so I see all of that to say this are they far apart on on negotiations yes can they close that gap quickly also, yes, that is something that can certainly happen. And I think that that people, you know, are, are are looking at soft deadline for Monday. They can create cap space if if they re-sign him, right? And they didn't do it. And, you know, noted the Bucks will also lose 7.4 in cap space absent an agreement Monday. Well, that happened, right? And it wasn't losing cap space. That's important to note as well. I don't believe they lost cap space, but uh, they didn't gain that 7.4 million. Um, you take a look back at the September thing. Like there's, there's been a lot of people who have been, you know, poking holes and, and throwing things out there, both in terms of national media, maybe even local media to a certain degree. Um, and just other outlets covering other teams, that I would say want to see Mike Evans leave the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or, or, or are setting this narrative that he will leave the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I just still don't see it happening, folks. I don't. I really don't. I don't say that out of bias. I just say that out of just critical thinking. You know, this was the first draft pick that Jason Light ever made, right? And it's the best draft pick Jason Light ever made. You know, this is the holy grail of of a draft selection for Evans. Evans is still in his prime. He's still able to do uh, so many different types of things that are valuable to the Buccaneers. I don't have to I don't have to go through the entire thing and tell you guys all of this. Mike Evans wants money. Of course, that makes sense, right? He wants to be one of the top paid players in the NFL. He deserves to be one of the top played paid wide receivers in the NFL. And I think that eventually Jason Light will do that. Of course, it means a lot to to Jason Light. Of course, it means a lot to ownership. And I think ultimately a deal will be done. I will. 
I, I, I really do believe that. My, I've still I've said it before and I'll say it again. I still believe Mike Evans will be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't think it's a matter of if. I do believe it is a matter of when. But right now, as it stands, they are far apart on con- contract negotiations. He is trending toward becoming a free agent at this point. Doesn't mean he is a free agent yet, folks. We still have about three and a half weeks until the start of free agency, give or take. There's plenty of time for the Buccaneers to get a deal done. And I know that there is a lot of impatientness that comes with this. Impatience? Impatience is the word. I know there's a lot of impatience that comes with stuff like this, signing star players and whatnot. But I do believe this, hopefully, hopefully, I believe, that this is a situation where patience will be rewarded. Gotta let the guys take their time to get a deal done. Yes, they remain far apart right now. We'll see what happens in three and a half weeks. But um, stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. I still believe a deal may, will get done. Maybe you guys disagree. If you do disagree, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.